Covering St. John's County, paid parking could soon take over parts of St. Augustine Beach as soon as April of next year. The cost per hour varies, but as it stands right now, out-of-town visitors will be paying the most. It would deter me to coming just for that reason, because everything you do here, we've, went, we've had to pay. So it's like, why can't we park free? News for Jack's reporter Allison Henning breaks down where people can expect to see the paid spots and how much they could cost you. Dave Monroe has lived in St. Augustine Beach for about five years. One of the great benefits of living here has been the ability just to go to the beach without having to worry about paying for parking. In a few months, that benefit is likely going away. The city is planning to add 300 paid parking spots in 13 different areas, including beach accesses off of A1A and some side streets near homes. Here's the latest price breakdown, 50 cents an hour for people who live in St. Augustine Beach, $1.25 an hour for people who live in the city of St. Augustine, and $2.50 an hour for everyone else. That adds up pretty quickly. 50 cents an hour? I like to spend uh, half a day here. Why should I have to pay to do that? I already pay the tax to live on the island. The city estimates the parking will bring in about $403,000 a year. Money the city makes from the paid parking will go towards improvements like paving grass and dirt lots. From there, the city says it will look into using the money to add more parking around the city. Locals I spoke with say they shouldn't have to pay. The people that live in St. Johns County should have a break from all that. The tourists are the ones that should pay. Between now and April, the city plans to hire an enforcement officer and add signage to all the paid parking zones. In St. Augustine Beach, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.